We broke the news at 5 o'clock after a judge ruled on challenged ballots in the race for the 50th State Senate District. It appears incumbent Democrat John Mannion has won re-election by only 10 votes. Joining us live is Senator John Mannion. Good evening, Senator, and congratulations. Thank you so much for having me on, and uh, thank you for covering this. This was a long process. Um, we were confident, but but um, we're happy that, of course, that we're on this side of it. And I want to congratulate my opponent, Rebecca Shiroff, uh, on her her race, and um, also wish the best for her family. Now, uh, about a half hour ago, none of us knew this result. This is very late breaking. Does your math match ours? A 10-vote lead, and are you declaring victory? It does, and I am. We have been following along all along, doing our own uh, monitoring of it, and I have great faith in the election commissioners in both counties. And, uh, you know, this was the final part of the process. It was a long process. We went through the count, the hand recount, and now uh, as part of the process, there were uh, ballots that were out there that were objected to, and uh, I lost uh, a few of those today. Uh, the net number went down a little bit, but we are on the right side of it. Senator, have you heard from your challenger, Rebecca Sheroff? Will she accept these results, or are you preparing for any legal counter? I, I have not heard, but as I just stated, this has been a long process. It's been a thorough process, and that, that process is in place to make sure that we have uh, validity, validity and assurance in our elections, which are so important to our democracy. And, uh, you know, I want to thank uh, so many people that were involved, certainly the folks that had faith in me, that, that uh, worked as a part of my campaign, my volunteers, uh, my volunteers that helped uh, witness or observe the hand recount, and of course, as I said, the election commissioners and everybody involved who did a great and professional job throughout this. There we see the courtroom where the, this, the, this ruling resulted from those hearings. Uh, I'm sure you're happy court is over. I'm sure you're happy election season is over. Now you can focus on being a state senator. What are your priorities for a new term? Well, yes, we're 41 days over. You know, my, my number one priority, and this is the reason I got into this, is that I love my hometown. I care about Syracuse, New York, and the surrounding area. I was a part of some great things over the past two years that can really benefit us for generations. Uh, I have complimented our leadership, leadership in the U.S. Senate and U.S. Congress, uh, in the House of Representatives, in the county, in the assembly, in the governor's office, in the Senate. Um, we all worked together, did our parts, and uh, we have a transformational project coming in as Mike Ron is going to invest $10 billion in the town of Clay. And I'm proud that uh, I was not just a part of that, but over the next two years, I can be of assistance to make sure that if there's anything legislatively or budgetary that's needed, I represent that district. I'm in the majority, and I can help. It looks like you're at the dining room table. Hopefully, we're not interrupting dinner. If we did, apologies, but thank you so much. We'll be talking to you in the years ahead as state senator. Thank you, Senator John Mannion. Thank you, Andrew.